Hi, I'm Andrew Moy with Tightlines Fly Fishing in Parsippany, New Jersey. Uh, this video, we're going to be talking about the spiral roll and executing a good spiral roll. So again, like every cast, we're going to relax. Very important. Uh, when you do a spiral roll, first most important thing is you got to do, well, you got to relax. You got to start slow. Every spay cast, every stroke should start slow and build momentum. If you start a little fast, you better go faster because it has to be an acceleration. Uh, this is why starting a cast fast will tend to fail, especially if, if you're learning to spay cast. It's very hard to accelerate when you start fast. So everything starts slow. The key though is that it's, it's continuous. Um, if you start your spiral and, and you're lifting, getting up and you slow down, you can't get underneath. So the key is up and under. Okay. And we're going to keep it moving. And I'm going to show you, um, very important. Next most important thing is that when you do the spiral, Okay, you're going to keep the spiral high. Very important in the front. When you do that spiral, that you keep it high. If you drop the nose of the spiral down too far, you're going to start to crash your anchor. And once your rod tip gets low, you can't sweep back from that low position, low to the water. It just doesn't work. So you end up going back up. So you crash your anchor and then you blow your anchor. So we got to keep the rod high when we do the spiral. It does not take a big spiral to make this work. Um, your spiral may have to be a little bit bigger if it's a long bellied spay line um, with a lot of the shorter heads we're casting, scandy heads that we're casting. Um, you don't need a big spiral. So just a little spiral high. You can see I'm starting slow and I'll do that again. I'm going to go. You can either go straight up and then circle in the front. OK, so I'm going I'm going uh, counterclockwise as a right handed caster. If I'm lefty. I'm going to go clockwise. Again, keep the spiral high. So it's when you do that high spiral, you're basically coming around the top and ski sloping level. Little spiral. Watch. Just use your hands and turn into it. A little bit of body rotation into setting the D loop. I'll do that again. And you can use all bodies from the beginning. Um, you can use your hands. So in other words, I can just keep my hands quiet and just use my body like so. Or I can use my hands a little bit, little hands, rotate. And that body rotation will help to fire that D-loop back and position you good. So watch how body rotation. The reason this is important is it allows me to keep my hands in alignment with my shoulders. If I just keep my body facing exactly at my target and I just use my hands, my hands will tend to get out of alignment from my shoulder. If you use just your hands, you got to keep your hands in front of you. So it's more important to go up, but a little bit of body will really help to keep your hands in alignment. Um, if you get that hand back here behind your shoulder and out of alignment from your shoulder, you're going to start to swing the rod. Again, let's talk about the acceleration slow, medium, fast on the bottom. The bottom is the, is the fastest point. Now let's talk about aligning this and where you're going to cast. So right now I've been casting here. If I want to cast more downstream, so if I'm casting there, I've got a wall. I'm casting on a wall relative to my target. If I want to cast more downriver, I got to shift that wall here. If I want to cast upriver, my wall is here. So I'll do a few examples of changing direction with this, with this cast. So let's say I want to cast almost straight back down river on an angle there. My wall is now here. Oops, caught that stick. My wall again is going to be here to cast here. Okay. If I want to cast up river, I'm going to direct the first move is to direct the rod tip towards your target and then sweep away. So I'm on a wall, essentially, I'm on a wall in the direction I'm trying to cast. So relax, stay on a wall relative to your target, keep your spiral high. That's a really important one. I find that that's one of the most important things to get people to get this cast right. Keep your movements very small, little movement to start the spiral, a little bit bigger. And when you, when you follow through, follow through up, try not to follow through down and back. That's going to keep the other thing is keep your hands up. I see a lot of people when they cast, they tend to drop their hands. Dropping your hands are bad because it collapses everything. 
and then you start dropping your D-loop, uh, getting a big anchor that sticks on the water. If you just do the spiral, watch how high my hand is, high to my uh, shoulder. I'm going to keep my hands up. My hands are never really dropping below my shoulder. Okay, so hope this helps you. Uh, keep watching the videos and, and uh, hope, uh, hope this helps you.